Good morning, Bears. I'm Alan, reporting from the BTV studio. Today is Thursday, October 3rd, and today is game day for our undefeated District Bears football team. We hope you got out to the land of the free, home of the Bears pep rally this morning. And be sure to get out to the Gus Stadium to cheer on our Bears football team, who will face the O'Connor Panthers at 7 p.m. At this game, our military members will be honored. Congrats to our Lady Bears volleyball team on their win against Sotomayor, 3-1 this past Tuesday. Tomorrow, they face Holland at the Northside Sports Gym at 7 p.m. We have these ladies. Now, for Cross Country, whose team are raising funds for, tra- for travel expenses, training equipment, and uniform replacements. They greatly appreciate every donation, which makes a difference as they chase district titles on October 8th and donations cut off October 9th. Also, take note that the National Honor Society induction process has begun, with emails already being sent out for students who meet the GPA requirements to apply. The application is due Monday, October 7th. Want to know your GPA and class rank? You can look and hack for updates on all 10th through 12th grade students. If you are new to Brandon or Northside, you will receive your first class rank at the end of the fall semester. Remember, STAR EOC is in the spring of the school year, and to prepare for this test, there will be accelerated instruction sessions from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. They begin this Saturday, and there will also be sessions on October 12th, October 26th, November 16th, and December 7th. Last Saturday, our Brendan Marching Band competed in the U.S. Band's Austin Regionals against many larger bands. They put on an amazing prelim performance. They earned a spot in the finals, placing 11th overall against great competition. Great job, BMB. The next competition is, at, is this Saturday at Peeper High School at 11.15 a.m. Play on BMB. Last Saturday, our Varsity Lady Bears water polo team are set up for a district title tiebreaker match against Harlan on Saturday at 8 a.m. And our Varsity Bears water polo team finished second in the district. That's the highest finish for Bears water polo, so be the Bears. Last weekend, our Bears tennis team earned a spot in the playoffs for the third straight year, finishing fourth in the district. They will represent District 26A in their bi-district round of the playoffs on Monday at the Blossom Tennis Center against Reagan at 9 a.m. BFND Bears Tennis. Once more for HOCO News, round one voting for the 2024 homecoming court continues today during all lunch periods, but you will need your student ID to vote. Once the top four boys and girls from the senior classes are announced, round two campaigning will begin on October 9th, and the entire school will vote for the 2024 homecoming king and queen on October 17th and October 18th. Look for round one winners tomorrow via the student council Instagram and a list will be posted outside the VPO. Mayors, consider joining the mock trial club where you'll learn about the judicial system and acquire valuable team skills. They meet today in E127. This is German Week, so remember to look for the trivia card throughout the school that feature a German flag colored pretzel. If you find the card, bring it to E140 to German teacher Kimberly McGarren. So the question correctly and you will receive a prize tomorrow. Brendan Theater students stay engaged in their learning as they prepare, rehearse, and build sets for the upcoming production of Julius Caesar, which is on October 10th through October 12th. It's in the auditorium and tickets are on sale right now online at brendanhs.booktix.com. Tomorrow, during all lunches, counselors will have our Decision of Respect signing day, where students can swing by, sign their name, and commitment to respecting everyone every day. So stop by. Finally, Bears. Child development teacher Marcella Flores' education and training students paired up with mentors at Ott and Gom Elementary, and they got to experience their first days of off-campus internship. They assisted teachers with different tasks. I bet. See Ms. Flores if you have any question about the education and training strand. This is all we have for today, and don't forget to follow us on X at BTV Bears, and also look for BTV Bears on Instagram. If you missed any part of this broadcast, catch us on YouTube by searching for BTV Bears. I'm Alan, signing off from BTV. Have a great day. Keep a positive mindset, stay engaged in learning, and evolve every day. This is a VTV production.